dynamic strength and engage, but relax in all the poses. Beautiful. Round the belt. Let's come back to the first side one more time. Again, we're just taking it to different levels. So that was more of the beginner level, right? So we can stay here. If you want to try going deeper, you're going to bend the back knee. So this is half dancing Shiva. If you want to do the full dancing Shiva, you grab the foot and pull it in. So just make sure you're ready for that big quad stretch. Beautiful. Really good job. It's kind of intense, <laughs> but this is the full dancing Shiva pose. If you want to do a little hand mudra, if that's available, you can do that. And then we're going to release, do another little roundabout. Pause for a second in the center since that's a deep stretch, right? So make sure you shift the hips a little from side to side. Loosen anything up that might have gotten compressed in that process. Really good. And then when you're ready, find your leg loops. Get that hold first. Bend the left knee, roll onto the top of the right. Okay, our final floating lunge. So if you're gonna bend the knee, it's half Shiva. And then the full pose is wrapping and coming into dancing Shiva. Now if you can balance, you can do the hand mudra at the same time. It's a little much. So what I'm doing is bringing my hand in front to hook, and that allows me this ability to balance. Otherwise you'll feel like, whoa, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the lats so it'll stay hooked. There we go. We're going to mix it up so we're not going to stay with this right around the arms the whole time. We just get back into the shifting. We're going to open it up into more of a lunge. So just notice the rotation here. So it's, it's nice to press back and then go from side to side. So if we all start to synchronize the swim, I'll meet you here on the right. And then we're going to press back and go to the left. And just try that lunge from side to side. A little bit of angular momentum. It carries you like a pendulum. Really good. So if we want to get these out of the way from bopping us, I use the mannequin arms. shift from the side, the knee is still tractioning over the ankle. So there you go. Beautiful. And we're still letting ourselves sit in the swing, so really not popping into a warrior two quite yet. We're staying low. We're just letting this stretch happen here all through the inner thigh. Growing. So then we're going to heel toe our feet together, just walk it in. We're going to keep our legs straight, release our arms, press the hips up, inhale and lean back. Exhale, come into your fullest expression on the back bend. Inhale, bring your arms out wide. Exhale, sink your hips down and pause. So we're going to do that a couple times. I'm going to come in the same direction with you so we can pop into angel wings, which is really fun. So from here, I'm going to inhale, press my hips up. Exhale, lean back, come into my fullest expression. Nice. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower back down. Nice and slow. Inhale, float. Exhale, back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sit. Okay, one more time. Inhale, lift and press back. So this time, when we come forward, we inhale up, we exhale, we bend our knees, 
knees, and then we inhale, come all the way forward. So press the hips forward like the peppermint patty into angel wings. And then when we exhale, we let ourselves swing back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, forward. Thumbs point up towards the sky, look up. Exhale, swing back. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. Is that fun? Inhale, in. And then exhale, let's go a little faster. Inhale, forward. strong, legs stay engaged, and then the upper body has a nice fluid relaxed movement from side to side. It's almost like on the diagonal, you keep leaning back, your elbows coming towards your hip. It's not going to go quite that far. Then you're going to keep that angle, and then you're going to let yourself sway. Beautiful. And just let a nice side body stretch happen. It's almost like we're pausing at the edges. Really get that length all through the obliques. Thanks. So we're having lots of fun and getting plenty of benefit from the poses all at the same time. The workout just happens. Beautiful guys. Okay, we're gonna slow ourselves down and come to center. Inhale, open up your arms. Exhale, bring the right knee up. We're gonna twist over to the side so my foot is in alignment with my hip. Bring it back even more. Bring it back towards your hip even more, your foot. There you go. So it's a right angle, see? And then a right angle. So we keep the geometry of the body, we flex the bottom of the foot back, the left foot flexes back. We open up our arms, we come into a forearm press. So I press my forearms in strongly, and then instead of twisting towards the knee, twist away. So my gaze goes back towards the right. Okay, drop the hips a lot. You feel that? Go all through the side body. This part that gets really congested starts to open up. And the forearms are going to take pressure off the underarms. It's still a little intense on the back of the ribs. But just allow the twist to happen. A few deep breaths here. The more we drop, the deeper we go. So we just relax into it. Inhale, kick that knee up. Ah, oh, pause in the center. Big, deep twist. Just one breath here. And we're going to inhale, keep the forearm press, pick the left knee up, roll onto the outer edge of the right, flex that foot back, and then step in alignment with your hip as much as possible, right angle. So pull it back even more. Yes, there it is. So it's like a reclined twist on the floor. So instead of looking towards the knee, look away. So we're pressing into the swing, looking over the left shoulder, and then dropping the hip straight down. Ooh la la. You guys feel that? <laughs> It's like one of my favorite stretches. So if I was on the ground, I'm just gonna come down and show you the translation, because we're still in yoga translations. So it would be this in yoga, right? Or if I was gonna come all the way down, it would be a reclined twist like this. But in the swing, gravity is really letting that natural curve in that arc come through the side body. <laughs> so just to understand what it looks like, what it would look like on the floor, and how the swing is supporting us to go deeper into this part of the body. One more breath here. And then back through center. Really good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is walk it out to our sumo squat. I'll stay in the same direction as you. I'll be able to see you when we're upside down. <laughs> so we press into a wide straddle. So in the wide straddle forward fold, I keep my elbows bent and I hook. Okay. And now that I'm hooked, I'm gonna bring my right hand down to the ground. So right hand down, left, left elbow is pulling down strongly to create the twist. So we're moving into our leg stretches and our twists. So keep the hand right underneath the chest, look up towards the left, look up towards the sky, pulling down with the left elbow, stay here, long line of energy, you're twisting on axis. So from the tailbone to the crown of the head, we're bringing out the spine. If that's too much on the neck, just drop the gaze down towards the ground. And then if you want to go deeper, right hand grabs your left ankle. 
So take a couple deep breaths here. I inhale and I expand. I exhale and I deepen the twist. So just try pulsing with the breath like that. Inhale, expand. Exhale, deepen. Pulling down. Beautiful, guys. Inhaling one more. Exhale, deepen the twist. So we're going to come back through center. So right hand in the center. I drop the swing into my wrist and then I swing it overhead. So I'm going to have an X in my swing. There you go. So both hands will thread through. Okay. Drop the hips, drop the heart. So I keep a nice long line between my ankle and my hips. So I just keep the wide straddle. And then from here, you can stay if you'd like to just chill. And then if you want to try some arm strengthening, you're going to press your arms strongly into the swing and lift. Okay? So we inhale and we lift. Exhale, drop back down. Inhale and lift and press. Exhale, drop. So notice if you really use your arms, Instead of your back, you get this great strengthening for the underbelly of the body, I call it. So see if you can press, 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 lift and hold. If you can feel your core engaging. Exhale, lower back down. Okay, one more time. Inhale, lift all the way to stand. And then you're going to take your left elbow, thread it over top, and then we come into our second side. Did the other side already. <laughs> Second side, whichever one we're doing. <laughs> I think it's this side. Oh, you're right. It is this side. We already did left. Whenever I turn around, I always get confused there. Okay, so pull down strongly. We're on our right elbow. Twist and look up towards the sky. Keep your hand in center if you're happy, or reach. Left hand, right ankle. Beautiful. Inhale, lengthen. And then exhale, pull down strongly. And twist looking up towards the sky or just release your neck down to make sure that the neck is happy. Inhale, open. Exhale, twist. Just one more big inhalation. Exhale, really bring it out. Just turn on access here. And then bring your hand back to center. Let the swing slide into the wrist. And then we're going to come to the second side. So now we're just hooking with our fingertips, bending the elbows a lot, and just letting the head drop. So in this pose, you can just do a little micro movement from side to side with the hips. So just stretch out that connective tissue. If you want to stay here, it's totally fine. Just explore. If you want to do a little bit more dynamic strength, we're going to inhale, press and lift our chest. Arms come straight as we come all the way up. And then exhale, lower back down, nice and slow again. So more of the tricep curl we're working here. Inhale up, really use your arms, let the back be relaxed. I know it's tempting to lift with our back. See what it's like to strengthen the arms. Inhale, press and lift, really good. Exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, press and lift. Fantastic, stay here at stand. I'm gonna show you why I do all the arm strengthening on the ground like that. In and of, of itself, they're wonderful poses, but when we learn to do some of the acrobatics, that arm strength is going to come in really handy. We're going to pop into some of the super fly poses. So I would use, the, so you're not going to do it, you're just going to watch. So you would use these in your hands, press your feet in, and then I have to have the strength to lift and press up. So if I'm going to be fully extended in super fly, I have to have that movement down. So we practice doing that on the ground. So we have to, when we get here, we know how to lift our chest and we, we know how to use the underbelly of the body. Come back down. So before I get you guys popping up in the air, I show you how to do that lift on the ground. And if you're using your back, like we do on the day-to-day -day basis, our arms are not gonna be able to hold us all through here. So we'll try that at the end. We'll do some super fly. But for now, let's come into some forward folds. So we're here, after we did our arm strengthening and wide straddle. We're going to pull the swing down strongly into our hip flexors. Okay, so we make sure it's not on our belly or our bladder, but right where the legs insert into the pelvis, and then we lean forward. Okay, so as we lean forward, we allow ourselves to drop into a forward fold. So I'm going to make sure the balls of my feet are grounded. 
My heels are lifted, so I'm just lengthening through 